Hi, well done. So now we're moving chest lift onto four stronger, stronger exercises. <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is become very aware and listen and feel how your body's feeling. Sometimes you always want to get to the hardest exercise first. But what I want you to do is listen and feel, and if you're ready to take the next step with me, come with me. If you're not, if you feel you're compromising your form, you're feeling pain, whatever, you come back or you stay at the exercise that you're at. Do we have a deal? Cool. Muscular intensity is good. Joint pain is a no-no. One area that I also want you to become aware of, because we're going to be lifting our head, neck and shoulders up for a long extended period of time, that actually takes quite a lot of strength. So if, as soon as you're feeling this, overworking, please place your head, neck and shoulders on the floor. You'll still get a great session with your head, neck and shoulders on the floor. Then my thoughts would be to start doing a couple. Rest. Then maybe three and rest. So you can actually start building the strength without overstressing your neck. Okay, you ready? Let's be efficient, smart, and enjoy the process. Okay, so we're going to set ourselves up, as we always do, in our supine position. It's always worth setting yourself up, guys. Feet hip joint distance apart, pointy hip bones up towards the sky, which means that your tailbone is grounded. You can feel a little bit of fresh air under your lumbar spine. Some of you will feel more than others. And then I'm going to get you to place your hands behind your head. Now... Like me, if I drop my arms to the side, I get this real flaring in my ribs. So I always bring my elbows slightly forward so that I can control my ribs. Now before I even move, I'm now consciously thinking of pelvic floor. I'm lifting on the inside up towards my heart, just gently. Now I want you to know that when I say that, these muscles, can you see they're all still squidgy, squidgy. I'm still lifting my pelvic floor. I haven't moved my spine. It's a very private, internal sense of lifting on the inside. It doesn't involve any change on the outside, okay? Hands behind your head. <clears throat> We're going to breathe in. Are you ready? And as you breathe out, float your head, neck and shoulders and take your gaze to around your mid-thighs or even your belly button. Make these ribs heavy. Feel your tailbone grounded. A little bit of fresh air. Can you see that? Cool. We're going to go into dead bugs. You're going to breathe in, floating one leg into tabletop, breathing out as you lower. Breathing in, floating one leg into tabletop, breathing out as you lower. Breathing in tabletop. Now just to check, knee over hip, shins parallel to the floor, that's tabletop. And as you breathe out. Now what we want to do here is keep stable through the torso, through the sacrum. Rather than feeling any wibble wobble through the right and left as we're moving, nice and controlled. Stillness. Float one leg into tabletop. Exercise two, femur arcs with chest lift. So keep drawing the ribs down. Can you feel how lazy our tummy wants to be? Breathing out, dipping the toe down, as if you're testing some water in a bath. Now your breath out is really key here. Breathing out. Now again, some of you might not be able to take the toe all the way down without this happening. So you just choose your level, take your toe as far as you can and up. My legs are parallel like train tracks. Breathing out. Breathing out. Keep them in tempo. Now if you need to have a break, you take your head down. Breathing out. Extend right leg to the wall opposite. Now think of your pelvic floor right at your toe. Second toe. Feel the sense of lifting. Draw the ribs down. Keep the space in the spine. Breathe out. And change. And change. And change. Now I've got my left leg straight. Now I'm going to rotate my left shoulder to my right hip. Both butt cheeks are down on the ground and I'm lifting on the inside. Shoulder blades are off the mat. And change. And change. 
energy from that second toe all the way up the leg through the pelvic floor to your heart and change and relax well done